Hey guys, so by skin prep, I'm talking about your skincare underneath your foundation. If you don't know what skin type you are, I made a short video on this that I will link right here. If you have normal skin, then you are pretty lucky and you can pretty much use anything. I would be careful not to use too much of something though. So don't use something that's overly drying that's intended for oily skin types or something that's overhydrating intended for super dry skin because that might throw your skin out of whack. You can go with something super basic that's for all skin types. For oily skin types, I like to use water-based products. Anything that says hydrators or gels or balms, but also oils are actually good for oily skin as well. People think when they have oily skin that they need to strip their skin completely, but that will cause your skin to overproduce oil and then you're right back to where you started. So if you are oily, you could try adding a little bit of oil to your skin prep or your client's skin prep. I like to use jojoba oil or squalene oil for oily skin types. I will link down in the description box below why those oils are good for oily skin. For dry skin, there is a good chance that you may need to exfoliate any dry and flaky skin that's sitting on the surface. I would definitely suggest using oils for dry skin because dry skin lacks oil. You can also add it to your foundation depending on the formula. If the foundation is water-based, you don't wanna add oil to it because water and oil don't mix. So just be mindful of what your foundation is and if you can mix an oil to it. For combination skin, you wanna address each area of the skin separately. So in the oily parts, address it for oily skin, as I already talked about, and then for the dry areas, address it for dry skin. If you have sensitive skin, you may wanna stay away from natural ingredients because that can cause more irritation and also anything with too much fragrance in it. Look for something that has very calming ingredients in it that can calm the skin before you apply your foundation. Check out my next video, step three, on finding the foundation that's best for your skin type. See you in my next video.